Harry Meghan was recently very hurt when the British people were calling for a boycott and not welcome them to the Invictus Games event. Someone even threatened to throw eggs at Harry Meghan if they dared to appear there. This hatred probably stems from the fact that Harry betrayed the royal family and Britain to follow Meghan. Prince Harry prohibited from joining Meghan Markle at Invictus Games, with authorities asserting, they are not needed here. I doubt that anyone would prohibit Harry Meghan from attending the Games. However, the authorities, whoever they might be could possibly tell Harry that he is not going to be given the microphone for speeches, nor will he lead the parade of athletes. Etc. Prince Harry's Invictus Games are reportedly in turmoil as two senior executives are said to have been dismissed for no apparent reason just over a year before the next event. A whistleblower told Mail Online that CEO Peter Lawless, a lawyer and arguably Canada's most respected Olympic and Paralympic administrator, has left his job abruptly, with insider claiming the decision has left staff morale at an all time low. A spokesperson for the Games said Lawless had been transitioned out and was no longer an employee, but will remain an ambassador. Also reportedly leaving the team is Bill Cooper, former chief commercial officer, who left in October. Cooper reportedly thanked colleagues for their support after several praised his grace and accused Invictus 2025 of making a big mistake by getting rid of him. The Invictus Games will be held in Vancouver and Whistler in February 2025 and will feature winter sports for the first time. Another insider said that ahead of the Games, staff are concerned that these recent moves will again overshadow this incredible event for our veterans. They also shared concerns that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex security and other costs may put a strain on Games finances if Invictus 2025 has to pick up the bill. The alleged chaos behind the scenes of Prince Harry's passion project comes after veterans taking part in the games were left feeling frustrated as his royal rift meant petty and mean-spirited royals have ignored the event. Prince Harry is reportedly putting pressure on Meghan Markle to return to the UK for the Invictus Games, causing some tension in their marriage, according to a royal expert. The Duke of Sussex is planning to host an event in the UK this year to mark 10 years since he started the Games for wounded, injured and sick servicemen and women, both serving and veterans. Royal expert and author Tom Quinn exclusively told The Mirror that Harry is putting pressure on Meghan to accompany him at the event. However, Meghan might not be eager to return to the UK as it was reported that she never felt at home here. Royal author Omid Scobie, who has been referred to as the Sussex's mouthpiece, wrote in his book Endgame last year that Meghan never wants to set foot again in England. But Quinn believes Harry won't accept a refusal and it's reported even Meghan is starting to think that you should never say never. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been told that they're not welcome back in the UK by a royal biographer. Author Tom Bauer believes that the royals are simply done dealing with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. I think Harry volunteered to come to the UK because he didn't want to appear in Las Vegas not having visited his father, King Charles III. Bauer told GB News. Why did he suddenly dash over? It was all his self-interest. It was a gimmick. It was to get publicity. It was to show that he was the dutiful son of his American youth supporters. Don't let us in any way think that this was because he feels warmth towards his father and family, he continued. And after all, I'm sure Queen Camilla didn't see him. Prince William certainly didn't want to see him. Bauer, who wrote, Revenge, Meghan, Harry, and the war between the Windsors, said that the father of two, hasn't got many friends left in England, after he, cut